Hello, my name is Dennis Nielsen. I'm your Mostyn Mayor. I'm City Administrator Randy Reeg. And I'm your Park Superintendent Jordan Wilkie. And welcome to the next edition of the Mostyn Minute. We're here on the shores of Lake Decora, about ready to take our new weed harvesting machine back out to harvest some more weeds and vegetation from the lake. Jordan, you want to tell us a little bit about the machine and how it's been working? Uh, yes, we've had the machine for a little over a month now, uh, about two months. Uh, we've had a good solid month. Uh, we've been using a lot of volunteer help um, with uh, our gold members, the Guardians of Lake Decora, along with uh, some city resources of keeping this machine going out here on the lake. Um, it's a weed harvester, thus it does not cut the weeds. This big wheel you see up front actually rotates with another wheel down below and it pulls the weed by the roots. Uh, so we're removing the complete plant, which then goes up the conveyor stores in the bunk. Uh, then the machine unloads itself um, as you can see, then we have a tractor sitting here and a grain elevator that then pulls all of our materials up into the truck where we have a compost pile started. Um, and we'll fill you in with some of the other information of what that compost pile is going to be used for, but hopefully going back to our farmers for fertilizing our local fields. Great, Jordan. So we're going to give you a little bit of footage and kind of show you how the machine operates. All right, so that probably just gives you a little idea of how the machine operates. Jordan, any final thoughts? Um, as I mentioned, we have uh, different studies that we have done with samplings of our plant material that we've pulled out. So in the comments below, we'll have some of that listed of the <clears throat> nitrogen and phosphorus uh, that has been removed from the lake to show our ultimate progress. Yes, one is a visual, but the big part is all the nutrients being removed from the lake. Perfect. Mayor, any final thoughts? Uh, the only thing I would ask, Jordan, is I know you need volunteers to run this piece of equipment. Uh, you might want to let them know how to contact uh, the right person for that, which I assume would be you. Yes, you can call City Hall. Um, our wonderful staff will get you in touch with me or forward you over to me. Uh, please leave your name, message, um, and I can reach out to you and see if you're scheduled to work uh, for volunteers to help out with our uh, process. Dennis, okay. anything else? No, nope, no, nope. we appreciate it, definitely. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching the Austin Minute. And uh, no comments from you? No, nope, I guess that's a wrap. So thanks okay. for joining us on this edition Absolutely. of the Austin Minute. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.